Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Mission complete. Endeavour has returned to Earth, ending its journey and consigning the space shuttle to the history books. Shuttle Commander Mark Kelly gave his reaction on touching down. Uh, it's great to be back here at the Kennedy Space Center. It's great to be bring Endeavour back in great shape. It looks like it's ready to go do another mission, but uh, this is going to be the last flight. Mission went great. Meanwhile, the space shuttle Atlantis has been rolled onto the launch pad for the last ever NASA space mission that will happen a month from now. Friday is D-Day for Radko Mladic. That's when the war crime suspect will appear in the UN court following his extradition from Serbia to The Hague. The former Bosnian Serb military chief spent his first night in an isolation cell. Mladic is likely to plead not guilty to charges of genocide during the Bosnian war. The numbers signing on are going up. Dole Q figures from the Central Statistics Office show 2,600 more people signed on the live register last month. In May, there were almost 441,000 people signing on the live register, an increase of over 3,000 over the last year. A phone alarm's going off today. Fresh health concerns have been raised about mobile phones after the World Health Organization said they could pose a cancer risk. A panel of scientists reviewing the latest research has concluded that radiation coming from phones could possibly cause cancer. The group suggests that 5 billion mobile users globally should take steps to cut down on calls while they carry out more research. Up until now, the WHO experts said mobile phones did not pose any significant health risk. Of group 1 means it is established that it's causing cancer in humans. We are two steps below, which is 2B, that at the time we cannot confidently say that it's clearly causing cancer in humans. The number of people falling sick from the E. coli outbreak has spiked. 100 new cases of the potentially fatal bug that's already killed 16 people have arisen in 24 hours. Scientists are working around the clock to find the cause of the E. coli strain that's thought to be spreading through tainted vegetables. Further tests show Spanish cucumbers, while contaminated, didn't cause the outbreak. The head of world football is on the brink of bagging a fourth term in charge despite allegations of corruption. The English and Scottish Football Association wanted the election postponed. The election has turned into a one-horse race. This should be avoided, both for the sake of FIFA and for the president himself. But most of FIFA's Congress voted against the delay. The vote to formally elect Sepp Blatter will take place later today. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, no more tips or tipples for this waitress. At number four, this funky grandpa is putting other movers to shame. At number three, boys breaking things fail. That's why axes were invented. At number two, looks like all is calm on the office front, or maybe not. <laughs> and number one today, road safety and general intelligence mega fail. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie. And Paul will be here with the sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.